So welcome and thank you for joining us for our anxiety, ADHD, and ADD call tonight. And I definitely believe that this is a very popular topic and one that is worthwhile that we do spend some time to address on some natural options and alternatives. And that's what this is about tonight. So um, grab a paper and a pen. You might want to take some notes on some of the things we're going to talk about. And also, if you do see a slide that you like, remember, you can also use your camera on your phone and take a quick picture. So if you don't have time to write everything down, remember, you can do a screenshot uh, of what you see on the screen and um, have that available. So, all right. Well, you guys all know me, so I don't really feel uh, it's all that important for me to go through and introduce myself here. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just begin here, guys, by talking a little bit more here on uh, just some things that we sometimes, I believe, oftentimes... I guess, neglect when we think about overall health and what the purpose of these health chats are is to bring awareness and education in different areas and topics. So uh, there are things that I could go and explain in depth about these things as far as anxiety. And I was going to like, I could give statistics and all that. I was like, you know, I don't feel like that's important. I don't have enough time. I see. I just want to make sure that we, uh, we're here to kind of be able to openly discuss and give the best alternatives and options. So, um, and again, I want you guys to definitely participate when you would like to here. So we're going to go to begin here, guys, just by mentioning, you know, like I said, the things of our topics that are mainly focused on tonight that a lot of these are all kind of triggered by some of the similar things. And that's why we tied this all in together from, I said, the stress, anxiety, ADHD, and ADHD is because it does have a lot of times um, similar characteristics, but yet sometimes they can all be very different. But you do want to note that stress is a big trigger for many of these. So uh, we want to realize that what we're doing around us and what we're putting in us, that that all has a direct correlation a lot of times in how we handle situations and how those imbalances start to get created in our body. And stress does tend to burn a lot of vitamins. So sometimes we don't realize that and we need to replace that by learning things that we can do to make healthier choices. And also learning to investigate possible and in hidden allergies and sensitivities. And that's why we're starting with this screen that you guys can see here now uh, that sometimes, you know, the things that we don't realize we're doing to us every day are some of the things that could be triggering some of the things that are going on inside of our body. So uh, one thing that I know, and I do talk about this in the reset sometimes, but sometimes the, the body wants to crave things, and those are sometimes the things that are actually what we are creating an allergy to. So sometimes think about that. You know, and this isn't related to cleaning products, but we're looking at our food choices, you know, to just start to be thinking about, you know, what is something that I'm always craving? And that could be an offensive um, food or item that we might need to realize that we need to take, take out of our diet to help triggering some symptoms. So here you guys are going to see, though, getting into just mentioning some cleaning products that they're are hidden dangers all around us that truly do affect environmentally what goes on with our nervous systems. And you'll see here, you know, this, some of these things that are direct correlation with some of the things like laundry detergent and dishwashing detergent. And all of those things can definitely be related to many of the things that goes on inside of our body. So if you see here, some things like carpet cleaners, you know, that these are a direct, there is research that has proven that this causes cancer and liver damage. You look at chlorine, which is, um, the number one household poisonings, which I also included that up here at the top, because that is one thing that people will argue and say, well, chlorine has been around so long in bleach that it has to be safe. And they're finding more and more issues with saying that chlorine is actually having long-term effects on, if you see up there, you know, breast cancer, reproductive problems in men, learning and behavioral problems in children. And so we see these things happening and we don't realize that that can also be triggering things neurologically and what's going on with our brains. So when we are cleaning with stuff like this, that residue that's getting left behind can oftentimes be causing and triggering some things that are happening, um, again, inside that we're not realizing is actually triggered from outside. So just know that this is a very simple change to start to realize, switching your cleaning products. Um, I know some of you guys could definitely share some awesome testimonials, which uh, Cindy might even want to clean maybe a little bit of yours with um, allergies. But I know that, you know, when you switch cleaning products, you don't realize a lot of times how much those things could be triggering. You know, I always bring up laundry detergent. You know, we are wearing those things. We are sleeping in what we wash our sheets in. Uh, and even though it may claim to be free, it doesn't mean that it still doesn't have chemicals in there. So if you try to do a little more research, you'll be amazed what you can find. So I encourage you just to start to be more aware of what's going on, like I said, around you. So, you know, and tonight our focus is on talking about natural alternatives and using nutrition and trying to eliminate chemicals as much as we can. And so now we're just going to kind of go through here and just talk about 
some things that we can utilize. And this was just a little story, and so this was a little bit blurry here. Uh, but this was a good, you know, just an example of how sometimes supplements are going to be used in different ways, but the idea is we're using nature-based products to help fill our bodies with what we need to help eliminate some of the symptoms we're seeing with some of the, um, you know, the main conditions today here. And you can see, you know, this was um, a little girl, and they talked about, you know, just in a matter of over a month and a half of getting rid of toxins and adding in some good nutrition that she was actually off from Ritalin within two months. And again, if you know the side effects of Ritalin and some of the medications that are used with, uh, this can say ADHD, but this also ties into some of the other things that we are tying in for our topic tonight. Um, but we have to start to realize, you know, are they doing more harm than good? And that's something that we can be very happy in thinking about when we're using Shackley, there is no side effects. There's only side benefits because it's just like using food. So we're trying to get rid of some of those symptoms, but yet we're creating a whole nother level of areas that we need to be concerned of, you know, suicidal thoughts, loss of appetite, sleep issues, dizziness. Um, and it's amazing how that list continues to go on and on, but it's do, it is a very important thing to just note that we need to be careful when we look at what we are putting into us. And that's where, yes, there's use for medications, but we also need to look at when and why are we taking it? So a lot of times stuff can be used naturally to help with getting rid of some of those things. So, and this was just a good little story. If you guys, you know, want to kind of follow along here, this was on the wonders of Ritalin. So as my son had been on Ritalin for two and a half years, he instantly became a good student. He was no longer in trouble all the time and he had the ability to sit still and focus. He said, okay, when asked to perform simple tasks and thank you and I'm sorry. Our lifestyle as a family changed drastically and the constant tension was eased. By the end of two and one and a half years, what began as a miracle drug ended as a personality-altering nightmare. It became a sedative for a short time, but when it began to wear off, our son would become explosive. Once, when he was in a rage of frustration and anger, I asked him what was wrong, and all he could say in fits of tears and thrashing was, I don't know, Mommy, I don't know. He was nine years old. Then the Lord brought a new friend into my life. She was a very experienced mother of four boys, two of whom were taking Shackley supplements for ADHD. My husband and I decided to try the same program they were using. To summarize, our son is now able to be the person you made him to be. We came to know a boy we had never had the opportunity to know before. Not only his crying came back, but also, um, I think I cut off a word there. Sorry, I can't see my screen very well because that picture's in the way of you guys. <laughs> I don't know how to move those pictures. Um, there's in depth in that the focus or medication limited. Ritalin kept him focused, but very shallow. He's free now to think and express himself in delightful and deeply thoughtful ways. He remains very active. But his need for physical expression is minor compared to what we have gained. By the way, until we began the Shackley supplements, he and his brothers were in the doctor's office at least once every six weeks for some ailment. In the last three years, we have been to the doctor one time. Thank you, Shackley. And I just do like though, the, some of the points in here that you know are talked about are things that, you know, when we talk about symptoms and how we express the things going on, it can be different for everybody. And, you know, and Tara's going to explain here a little bit, um, a little bit about her story too. And I just think it's important to know that, especially somebody that's very young, you know, they can't express very well what that medication is doing to them. But even us as adults, we don't realize we're masking symptoms and our personality can change from that. And um, I do just think that, you know, this was a very powerful way of saying, you know, there are options and there's just so many different stories we could share and um, things to mention. But again, just look at what we can you to you to do to use food as a building base. So, and that's where this comes into play. And, you know, no matter what options we're choosing from the stress, the anxiety, the ADHD, ADD, all we're trying to first begin with is getting a foundation. And that is where using some type of supplement plan to help get us started combined with their protein and some type of either your multi, your vitalizer, or your life shake, or excuse me, your life strip is going to be a great way to help get your foundation started. And from there, we start to add another vitamins and supplements. Now, note, that for a lot of the things that you may be taking medications for, doing a little bit of a detox or a cleanse at the beginning is a great idea. And that's why I just posted these here just to kind of note, you know, adding some cleansing options. Um, we are doing another reset coming up soon. So that would also be another great thing to tie into to helping you uh, get to know what's going on with your body and just to be able to hopefully uh, eliminate some of the things that maybe we are masking our symptoms of and try to improve our health from a cellular level and that's uh, mainly the goal of this and you know protein is something that we need to look at for all of these things whenever you're creating mood swings behaviors um, you think of anxiety we need panic attacks do all of those things we do want to make sure that we're keeping protein consistently in our diet so we want to have a protein with every single meal and snack so when we notice we're eating a lot of high glycemic foods and how that will affect our blood sugar levels a lot of times that also triggers emotional issues 
So looking at protein options, you know, there are quite a few with Shackley that you can feel very good about using because, again, they are nature-based. They are all low glycemic, just to mention a few of the different options here. Um, but note at the beginning there that the focus is to repair and build new cells to stabilize blood sugar, to help with your immune system, to prevent fatigue, to improve healing, and for healthy, shiny hair, skin, and nails. Now, a lot of those things sometimes are offset because when you're taking meds, you'll notice all of a sudden the hair starts falling out, your nails start to dull, uh, your skin starts to break out from certain things. And again, you're creating more imbalances than what you started with. And if we can add things like a good quality protein, it's amazing what our bodies will do. So again, the Kids oftentimes really like the meal shakes, but these are dairy based, but it's nice to know there are so many options to help with getting that foundation. So now we're going to get in and start to talk about here some specific supplements, but uh, before I do here, we're going to kind of, uh, we have a couple people, they're nice enough to share testimonials with us tonight. So um, Tara's going to be our first one here that, you know, again, the reason we're sharing with sharing them share is because this may be something that could help you or someone you know. So um, again, Listen, and if you guys have questions, please interrupt us at any time. But um, Tara, I'm going to have you go ahead and uh, share with us first, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Um, hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I am getting a little crackling through. I mean, my connection might be bad, so I apologize in advance if that is the case. Let me know, Amanda. Okay. Um, well, like Amanda said, um, uh, my name is Tara, and I... I feel like I'm in a, a group, um, you know, my name is, and I have, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, for real, this is the first really publicly speak first time I've spoke publicly about this. I've only really mentioned to a few people, including Amanda, just in the last maybe month or so about, um, the situation I had with, um, ADHD and anxiety and depression. Um, I was diagnosed with ADHD about four years ago. Um, I have been on a medication, one medication, and that was the only thing I had ever um, tried or been on, um, and it was Vyvanse. Um, I have been off of Vyvanse for two months, ever since the reset um, that I did in, was it June then, with my daughter, um, who was also ADD and was on the same medicine, and we are both off, so... That's the end of the story, but the in-between time you might be interested to find out about because it might be something that you can relate to or that you know somebody who might be struggling with this. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about before I was on medication. Before I was on medication, I was tired, like tired. Um, five out of seven days a week, I would need a nap and or to go to bed early. Um, lack of motivation. I just, with everything, it wasn't just specifically like, you know, the dreaded laundry. It was everything. I couldn't just go um, play with my kids or do things that I used to really kind of enjoy. And which was, think, I was thinking, well, am I just depressed? You know, because I really didn't understand a little bit of how ADD and ADHD worked. And I didn't, wasn't as a, much of like of terms that we use today. You know, I just didn't realize it then. Um, kind of my life was like disorganized chaos is kind of how my husband and I like to call it, <laughs> which is feel like double negatives, you know, disorganized is, you know, a negative and then chaos is also a problem. Right. So, um, I was diagnosed and I took the test and they said, yes, you know, you're ADHD. And I was like, I'm not hyperactive, you know, um, that must be wrong, you know? And they said, no, actually that can mean the other side of it too, where you're more, you're lethargic. So I, I was like, Oh, well, you know, that makes sense. You said, it's like, you know, your brain is working so hard all day to try to make the connections to keep up and, and focus that you're just exhausted by the end of the day. And that really caught up with me when I had four little kids who were, you know, pulling at me and taking every other ounce of energy that I used to have to compensate for that. So not sure if anybody else can relate to that. Um, but when I was on medication, um, you know, the, the, the positive was that I might had stamina longer to focus on tasks, you know, but if I took the medicine too late in the day, I would be up late. So the side effect was that it wouldn't wear off to where I could make my brain kind of stop thinking until really late. Um, so it's the negative point. My schedule revolved around when I took it. So 
I had to kind of plan my family's activities and things where when I was, you know, I'd like to say, quote, you know, on, um, I had heart palpitations prior to using medication and they really significantly increased were more frequent. Um, I think it's because, you know, the medication put more stress on my body with flexing, um, going up and down, being like, um, coming off of the medicine is usually when it would happen usually in the evening time. So I just feel like there was a lot of stress on my body during that time. Um, I almost I had to wear a heart monitor at one point too, but they were always like, Oh, we can't find the palpitations, you know, when you wear your heart monitor for 24 hours. So um, you start to think that you're kind of making things up and is it true? And, you know, you just kind of second guess yourself and, 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 you know, a lot of doubt and then fear can creep in. And I just felt a downward spiral coming to kind of a point um, uh, about a year ago. Um, one other thing that was symptomatic when I was on the medication was moodiness. It was a lot of up and down. And again, I attribute that to the, the stress of the medicine, just covering up the problem and not getting to the symptom, not getting to the root of things. Um, but um, in May, um, I found Shackley to be so helpful in Amanda's information to make sense. Um, you know, nutrition. I didn't eat horrible, but I didn't eat good. I wasn't overweight. I, you know, was randomly exercising <laughs> and, um, you know, but after starting the vitalizer and the protein, um, after two months, I was able to come off my medication. I felt like I had the strength to come off it because I knew what was going to happen. I felt if I went off it, I was going to be tired again. I was going to be that mom that couldn't do anything or move or, you know, just, just be like almost like lazy, but it was like paralyzing. So, um, that didn't happen. And I was so excited and, um, that my, my daughter is now off the medication too. And we're both on and taking mind works and I'm taking the stress relief complex the, with the protein, the shake every morning, every morning. Um, and then my vitalizer strip. Um, I also take alfalfa sometimes, um, and my daughter takes Nutriferon. Uh, so we both um, have seen significant relational um, help there too, because we would be short-tempered with each other. We would both kind of come off our medication and, and just kind of be done with, with the day, and we would fight a lot more. So it's been great that we can kind of go through this journey together and kind of, you know, have each other's support as well as Amanda and the Shackley family. Um, post reset and Shackley, um, beginning Shackley regiment, um, toxins are out of our house. Now, um, we did that prior to even, um, me realizing I wanted to go off my ADD medication. So, but I can just tell you that my overall well being is up. It's, it's just, I feel like I have nutrition in my body instead of medicine in my body. I don't know if you can understand that. It's just, it's a different feeling. It's an overall wellness. And I've had no heart palpitations, zero heart palpitations since I have begun Shackley. So I just feel like that's such a blessing. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if you have any questions or Amanda, if you have anything that to add or to ask, but, um, that's kind of my journey that I've just spent two months medicine, you know, I'm not taking any medicine now. So. so I think that's great, Jerry. I think you covered it very well. So it's, does anybody want to ask her something? By the way, hi, Jess. I just finally saw who's, I can't see everybody's pictures, but uh, <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out who the black boxes are in here. But um, does anybody want to ask uh, Tara anything before I start explaining a little bit more about some of the things, the products she just mentioned? All right. Thanks for sharing, Tara. That was great. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go in and get into a little bit more depth, in depth about some of the things that may be very helpful. Now, please note that there are so many products that you can choose from that sometimes it does take a little bit of adjusting to figure out what is going to be a good program for you. So I want to just kind of touch on some of the main things and what do they do, how do they work, and this is the stuff I really love to talk about, those getting into product information and testimonials. You know it works. I mean, it's been around 100 years. This is not new. God made nature. 
that's what we should be focusing on. Um, and that's what we're starting with here is B complex is something that, you know, uh, you'll find a lot of people actually, doctors, chiropractors, telling people, why don't you take B12 or B6 for energy? And that will help you with depression, anxiety, et cetera. Uh, but if you think about it, if you look at, you know, a whole food product, you know, you can't pull part of that from nature and say, here, take this part of it. And that's why you need the full B complex. And B complex is something that's known as the stress vitamins, the happy vitamins. And some of the things that are noted there, you can see depression, anxiety are just a few of them. But we do tend to burn our B vitamins from stress. Every time we have a stressful situation, we need to increase our B complex. And we all do relate how it reacts in our body a little bit differently. Some people, it can actually help them sleep. Some people, it gives them energy. So it's kind of interesting how even Tara was mentioning with her symptoms of when she wasn't on it, you know, she was lethargic and didn't have energy before her meds. And other people with ADHD, they're hyper, you can't control them. So everybody has different symptoms. But with B-complex, again, you need to note that they are destroyed or burned off by um, also by eating a lot of sugar. Um, I mentioned the stress, obviously. Alcohol, processed foods, a lot of medications actually burn more bees. And they're Absorption is limited if you do tend to use a lot of caffeine. So people may be blocking it by using um, some things, you know, drinking a lot of pop or coffee. And B complex is one of those things, you know, if you're noticing some symptoms like um, maybe you can't remember things very well, maybe you have uh, circulatory issues, skin conditions, you're losing your hair, uh, you're having a hard time with digesting food, even weight loss. B complex is one of those that has a variety of purposes, but also is a very helpful one we're helping with our brain and our nervous system. So that is gonna be one that I definitely wanted to spend a little bit of time on there, and it is great. All of these can be used for kids and adults, so I do wanna mention that too. So our foundation is gonna start always with, like I said, the multi and the protein, but then we, what we pick and choose and add with that is gonna be a little different for every way. The next one I wanna go into here is talking about GLA complex. This is one that a lot of people do not know about. And basically what this is, it's gamolinaic acid and it has vitamin E and this comes from borage seed oil. So it is a very protected source and it's cold pressed, which exactly doesn't use heat on anything actually. So it helps to keep all of those live um, ingredients and the prostaglandins are what's in this that really helps with. It's a hormone like substance that regulates and um, helps with things like inflammation, pain, blood clotting, hormone production. Um, a lot of the times the things that we don't realize, you know, for things like arthritis, for injuries, for menstrual cramps, hot flashes, all of those hormonal things can also tie into when we look at things that go on with ADD and ADHD, it's how our body converts fats. So that's why GLA complex is used many times to help with um, some of the things that we notice needs to be balanced. So we already mentioned B-complex. Your general C complex is the next one I wanted to just uh, take a moment to mention. And this is going to be also in our next slide here too. But your general C complex, believe it or not, can be used during the day with people that have the hyper side of this. And for people that have a hard time sleeping, it goes at the other end of the spectrum. So the general C complex is a very great, it's a combination of herbs. But if you look in there, you know, the camel meal helps with calmness. You know, some of these things that people have been used for years in other countries, but now we now know that we can use this as a general safe alternative. So Tara, I saw you raised your hand. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Tara, did you want to ask something? <laughs> I feel like I'm in school. <laughs> Maybe you didn't mean to. I just saw you. It came up on my screen. Tara raised your hand. Okay. All right, well, I'll keep going here. The next oh, one is Sorry, do you hear me now? I'm sorry, I have my mute yeah. on. Okay, no, that's fine. I use the GLA complex as well, and I don't use it necessarily every day, but I do use it um, about maybe a week before I would, you know, I would be starting my period or so. That would be the time that I noticed to take that. Is that something yeah. that you should use maybe constantly? But I haven't, so I just wanted to know. From Great question. Because Some of the AD. Yeah, some people do need to use it all the time. So I guess it depends on the needs that you're using it for. But yeah, for the ADD and HDD, it would be something you take all the time. For people using it for more hormonal issues, they usually take it generally, they'll start like a week before their period or before. Um, some people have to go two weeks before because they hit that week before where they notice their hormones going crazy. So um, yeah, it is different. But yeah, if you're using it for those reasons, I would say take it every day. So good question. Um, in that general C complex, you are, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I did touch a little bit more on that too, that that can also be used for um, headaches. 
headaches can be related to a lot of times when people do have uh, a lot of, again, you mentioned the ADD issues, a lot going on in your head. So it causes sometimes issues that are similar triggers to migraines. So the sleep complex can also be used for that, not just sleeping. So a lot of people think, you know, that's what it's used for, but so much more for um, even just creating a general sense of relaxation. So uh, the mental acuity plus is another one that has ginkgo below the hawthorn, bilberry, rosemary. It's a very gentle combination, but it helps with improving cognitive function. So if you notice, you know, when you're trying to maintain metabolic brain activity and keeping those waves pretty um, even keeled, this is going to be extremely crucial. This has been used for, again, many years through Shackley for, you know, we mentioned hyperactivity, ADD, et cetera, but also Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, anything that has to do with your brain. And we'll be talking also about the mind works here in just a second. But the Mental Acuity Plus is great for that. And I did make another little list here just of some of the things that when we talk about here, you kind of will repeat here this repeated a couple times so you know what these things are. Uh, but when we get into talking about, you know, some of the options here, you know, we talked about, you know, the multivitamin, which you could take the Vitalizer or the Life Strip. You're going to take a protein or the meal shake could be an option too for kids. The Optiflor and the B-Complex, note that those are in your strip. So if you choose the Vitalizer or the Life Strip, we talked about the mental acuity, the general seed complex, GLA complex. Um, this I wrote down here at the bottom because I thought this was a good thing just to remind you how that GLA works. Uh, but just something that you can do to adjust by adding more or less and everybody, it's going to be a little bit different on how that works. Uh, but the next thing we want to spend a little bit more time on here, which is not listed on this slide, but it's going to go into our stress relief complex. And I can't say enough about how well the stress relief works. Um, and I am going to, you know, you can kind of read through this here and we're going to go ahead and introduce here Cindy for a second. She's going to go ahead and just give kind of a quick little testimonial too about, you know, she's um, a great one too that, you know, can just kind of relate and be able to share a little bit about how this works for her. So Cindy, if you don't mind, I'm going to have you share here next. Sorry, I had to take myself off of mute. <laughs> it's okay. We got to remember to do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I, um, I remember talking to Amanda about just being just having a really stressful time in my life. This was probably like uh, four or five years ago. And um, she recommended taking the stress relief complex. And I remember the first time I took it and I remember exactly where I was driving and I just felt this, I don't know, it was, it was just this calm come over me. And I had just taken it probably 30 minutes prior, the stress relief complex. And of course I was running kids someplace and I just remember feeling so calm. I couldn't believe that something was actually helping me with the stress. And like it says, I didn't get drowsy at all. It was just, I don't know, a calmness that came over me and I don't use it every day, but when I'm having those stressful times, I will, take it and it yeah it just takes that edge off and helps me get through it um the other thing i did want to also say is the the gentle sleep complex i have used that also and actually i, don't, I just i like that feeling that it doesn't you don't feel drugged i mean there are some um I, i'm sure there's medications that you can take for sleeping and it makes you just feel so knocked out but the general sleep, sleep complex was really nice because when you woke up in the morning, you felt energized. You didn't feel tired still. So yeah, just a little testimony to both those products. I really do enjoy, like them. Thanks. That's great. Good point. Somebody want to ask Cindy anything a minute? All right. I will keep going. Think of something, come back anytime and interrupt. But I just want to explain a little bit more again from what is in this and how does it work. So real fast, you know, L-theanine, um, L-tyrosine, which are natural occurring amino acids are in here. And a lot of people, you know, will tend to relate that to being, you know, L-theanine. Yes, it's an amino acid, but when it's used in the conjunction like it is in nature, it also has ashwagandha in there which is an herbal product. So this is one, um, and it has in there beta sterol, which is a plant sterol. And these are ones though that you do, if you are taking stress or anxiety medications, you just always wanna be safe because it does have an herb in there to check. Generally, there's no problems, but I always like to just add that with it as an herbal product to, to just mention that. But like Cindy says though, is it promotes a sense of calmness and relaxes without making you tired, which is very different than a lot of the products that are in the market today. And there is always no side effects. So it helps you to be more alert. It helps with blunting 
the cortisol. So when you're really stressed, your cortisol levels increase. And that's what makes this different is it helps to, um, to actually blunt those levels. So you do remain calm, even though you may be going through more stress. So, and it also promotes natural norepinephrine, which is a neurotransmitter. So some people have, and again, with ADHD and ADD, those levels can be off and you don't stimulate that very well. So this will actually help in the production of that norepinephrine. So um, great to use, again, for stress, helping improving sleep, uh, mental acuity and concentration, even for lowering blood pressure. So I do think this is something, you know, that a lot of times it's one of the first things people do try. And I do think like even Cindy said again too, it's one of those, it's sometimes it's very quick. You notice it right away. So you can tell it's working. So that is a great thing about um, something like that is you don't have to wait for it. Where some of these other ones, it may take a little time. Like Tara said, of being on the foundations for a little while with the protein and the vitalizer, you know, it took a few months to start to notice that she was building better health, but then you start to notice it over time. So, all right. The mind no, I really have one more thing, Amanda. Yeah, go ahead for um, sure. Just the fact that you can also take more than one a day. I mean, when I was taking a class and I was totally stressed out about mm -hmm. this class, I mean, there was days when I took three of the stress relief and again, no side effects whatsoever. And it just, it helped me get through it. Didn't have to take any medications, just my lovely stress relief. So <laughs> that's great. You just made me think of something that's kind of funny. If you guys, most of you guys know Trenton pretty well. It's like, maybe you should start giving uh, him some stress relief. Maybe I'll make him fall asleep and calm down. <laughs> he takes bottles of everything. I should try that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, no, that's great. Good thing to add. And a lot of this too, like you just said, though, it is kind of trial and error. You do have to get to know your body and what's working and what's not. So, you know, um, but it's great to know, again, their options. So mine works, you know, Terry had mentioned this one. I This is a newer product in Shackley. Uh, and again, it's one that's definitely worth talking about for a minute. So what it does, and it helps enable our brain to function three times better. If you see there right here over on that side there, it talks about how it boosts our memory, call our focus and our response time. So anytime our brain is struggling with how to make connections, uh, this will help to make those connections greater. And with that ties in the aging effects. So they have found that this actually reduces the aging effects on our brain by 30% in two years. So anytime we're looking at things, you know, that are affecting our brain, it's really important that we do try to help keep our oxygen and glucose levels increased in our brain, which this is what it does, boosting your neural activity um, and replenishing mental energy. So that's why, you know, it can really be a boost in helping with using, it's got in there Chardonnay seed extract and Garana are two of the main ones. Um, but it doesn't have caffeine. It doesn't have the thing that's a stimulant. It just helps to make sure your brain's getting nourished and helps with circulation. So uh, again, I can't mention, you can take these in conglomeration. So you could be using the stress relief. You could be using this. Um, a lot of it's dependent upon your symptoms of where we generally would tend you to steer you to, to move forward. So this is our last one I want to touch on here. And this is the Chewable CalMag Plus. And I put these together on one screen because it does tie into, yes, we're conversation. Our call is mainly on ADD and ADHD and anxiety and stress, but this is something that does have multiple uses for. And that's why I just wanted to make sure I did mention this because it is a chewable. It's going to be, again, very fast acting. Like that stress relief was we mentioned, it does get into your system immediately. So it's a great natural tranquilizer. So a good time for, you know, when you do feel that stressed or even trying to fall asleep sometimes, uh, muscle aches, pains, you know, growing pains are good to mention. But sometimes when actually people are very stressed and they have high anxiety, it can lead to having uh, heartburn and it can lead to having acid problems. So this can even help as a natural and acid option. So I always look at, you know, what can you do to get multiple benefits in the chewable calcium magnesium is another one of those. So wanted to make sure I mentioned that one here too a minute. So, and from a food perspective, and believe it or not, these are even in a lot of your supplements. Just wanted to make sure that you do know these are the main ones to avoid for ADHD, ADHD, and anxiety because these have been proven to actually increase symptoms. So just note, you may think you know this, but read your labels because this is snuck into a lot of things. And these specifically not are- in, Not in Shackley supplements. Not in Other Shackley. Supplements. You are perfectly clear. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, you are perfectly clear. Yes, there is nothing in Shackley will ever have anything artificial like these things listed. So very good point. So, all right. And last thing I want to mention, we are doing a special. So whoever invited you to this, uh, and we can all share this too through Labor Day. So if anybody orders a Life Shake, um, any of the multivitamin options, um, Vitalizer, the, the Life Strip, and they do get one of the products that are geared towards anxiety, ADD, or HDD, 
or ADD, HDD, I'm coming up with all these new letters, um, you can receive $10 off your next order. So we're doing this until Monday. So as an encouragement to help you get started, we want to offer you a little special. So uh, take advantage of that. We definitely want to um, be able to assist you too. So if we can, you know, help answer any questions, uh, I'll open it up here at the end, but I do want to mention one more thing. Uh, we're trying to do these health chats regularly, but next week we are going to be having a special event here uh, that will be held here in Zealand. So starting Thursday night, we're going to have some guests coming from Pennsylvania. So they're making a long trip here. So we'd love to have as many people here as we can get. Thursday night is going to be a group event targeting towards, you know, great tips, just a little bit into the business, what Shackley's about. Uh, Friday is going to be some leadership training for those interested in the business opportunity. Friday, we're also having a lunch and learn. So this will be more nutritional help. We're also going to do a free lunch. So you can have um, Shackley bars and shakes and we'll have everything there as a, a free lunch option. And then at night, we're doing a potluck. So everybody's invited. It'd be great to have, you know, lots of people here, just bring a dish to pass. And again, guests are welcome too. And on Saturday, we have one more group event and we'll have questions and answer sessions. We'll have, you know, lots of time to um, be able to, you know, ask the things maybe you don't feel comfortable with in this situation, but to be able to learn from, you know, other people in Shackley, I think it's great to have, you know, their knowledge and experience coming to us. So I encourage you to mark that off for next week. So no health chat next week, uh, but we'll have one again probably that following week. And if you do have a suggestion or recommendation for a topic, we would love to hear from you. So um, but in the meantime, let's open it up. Is there anything anybody wants to add or any questions before we go tonight? Did you guys find it helpful? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. I can only see a couple of your faces. I don't know how to open it up to everybody. So <laughs> hopefully that was when I saw a couple of you nod. So good. All right. Well, again, I'll stand here a minute if you guys have anything you want to ask about. Um, otherwise, have a great night, guys. Sorry we're a little bit over, but I said I knew this was a big topic. So uh, thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Thanks. Thanks, Amanda. Sure. Thank you. Bye, Amanda. See ya. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, anybody still on wants to say anything? <laughs>